Welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm here at Maserati Alfa Romeo of Daytona Beach. I'm a little congested, so maybe it's allergies or something, but sorry about my voice today. But I had to come check out what you guys have never seen on the channel before. This is kind of like a new trim level model for this car, the Quattro Porte GT for 2022. You know what the GT means? There's three new trim levels for the 2022 model range. GT starts off as an entry level trim while Modena is the you know middle level trim and then the Trofeo range is the highest level trim. Well this is the GT trim. Entry level Quattro Porte. Why is that big news? Because there's never been an entry level Quattro Porte. This is the first ever. This is the cheapest Quattro Porte you can buy in the entry level game. I mean Quattro Portes normally started off with an MSRP of $110,000. This starts off at under a hundred thousand dollars so well under a hundred thousand dollars but don't get it twisted because this quattro porte gt spec here has over thirteen thousand dollars of options so i want to show you the quattro porte gt the entry level quattro porte for us little guys who can't afford the big boy quattro porte um, like the previous model years now we have this car here and it's affordable but with the thirteen thousand dollars of options it may uh you know bump back up in the range but again i want to show this off to you guys the engine spec the new packages like the gt interior package the gt sport and resmo package some new stuff on here that you guys are going to want to check out so with that said let's get to it and if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure you do so right now when you do that it helps grow the channel it helps get me up in the rankings and i can get more opportunities to get beautiful cars like this out to you guys right away before they even hit the showroom floor and per usual here at Daytona Beach, shout out to Eric Hurd for hooking me up with this Quattro Porte GT. All right, you guys got to check him out. Make sure you contact him in case you want to get into one of these beautiful cars here in Daytona Beach. They got some good inventory in and they got some more stuff coming in. So make sure you hit them up. So you guys are still probably confused on what I'm talking about, about a GT entry level Quattro Porte. I mean, in the past, you were used to the Quattro Porte S that started off at $104,000. You're used to the Quattro Porte SQ4, which started off at $109,000. And you were used to the Quattro Porte Trofeo even, that started off at $142,000. Now, even though I haven't had a Trofeo on the channel yet, it's coming sooner than you think. Now, with that said, this Quattro Porte starts at under $100,000, under 99, under 98. It gets even lower. We'll get to the sticker and all the options shortly. But this is the first time you've seen an entry level Quattro Porte. So this is really cool to see. I definitely want to explain myself, explain Maserati and what's going on here and talk about all the different specs and the dimensions and the performance of this vehicle. Now this is where things gets interesting. Yes, this is the twin turbo three liter V6 that you guys are used to for entry level models from the Ghibli and the Levante. So that means this is the twin turbo V6 pumping out 345 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. And you guys know because this silver shield means the entry level motor, all right? The Quattro Porte only had the blue shield, which was 424 horsepower and up. But now we have the silver shield in the Quattro Porte. So it's just a crazy thing to see in this car uh, for the first time ever. Now this still competes somewhat with the Mercedes AMG GT43 four door coupe. All right, so the zero to 60 for this is 5.5 seconds to where the zero to 60 for that is 4.8 seconds. And the top speed for this Quattro Porte GT is 168 miles per hour to where the AMG GT43 four door coupe is 177 miles per hour. Now, this is for the 2021. If they change things for Mercedes in 2022, um, who knows? But with that said, this is the Quattro Porte and the Quattro Porte is more of an S-Class competitor. So that's where it kind of measures up even with the entry level motor. And I know that some people are gonna say that this kind of downgraded an engine and they're not gonna be too happy about that because it falls a little bit more short um, from that AMG GT four door. So you guys let me know how you really feel. Say it with your chest down in the comments below. Did the Quattro Porte deserve this engine or did it deserve to go higher than this? 
Now this new trim is gonna bring a lot of new customers to the Quattro Porte. So I have to explain a few more things in detail, like why you would get the Quattro Porte over the Ghibli. Well, the length, it starts off at 207.2 inches. Its width is 76.7 inches. Its body height is 58.3 inches. And its current wheelbase total is 124.8 inches with a curb weight of 4,101 pounds and a gross weight of 5,595 pounds. So this five-seater is gonna give you a lot more space compared to the current Ghibli. Also, your luggage compartment is 18.7 cubic feet as to where the Ghibli's is 13. So really when it comes to practicality, this is a stretched out Ghibli that is going to cater more to your backseat passengers. Now, the front end, you can see that this has full matrix LED headlamps. These come standard for the Quattro Porte GT, which is really nice. That means you don't have the Bi-Xenon downgraded lights or the entry-level lights. You get the upgraded full matrix lights standard, even on an entry-level Quattro Porte. You also have the new badging for 2022. As you guys can see, the white and blue badging over the chrome red and blue badging for the previous model years. You see that Nero Rebelli with Mika paint shining through. We've had a lot of these in 2022 so far. A lot of dealerships are specking out black cars. They must sell very well. Now, if you go down below on the grill, you will see that you do have the new 3D grill that you got back in 2021 with the you know inserts, the matte inserts to give the slats in the grill a more 3D and aggressive effect. You also have the level two ADAS, which is why you have the big trident right up front as well. And then if you go underneath you'll see that this has the grand sport front fascia all right so the big blades on the side all right the big uh, feed through grills for the honeycomb light grill all right that's all all functional grill going throughout it looks really good as you guys step back there there we go give you guys a better look at it that big mouth all right very aggressive but very classy at the same time love the look of these now for the quattro porte gt you would normally get 19 inch Poseidon wheel standard, but this is optioned out with 20 inch dark Perseo wheels with the red brake calipers, white script, and you still get drilled rotors, even though this is the lower horsepower variant. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this, all right? Normally on the entry level engines, you do not get drilled high performance rotors, all right? Um, so yeah, that is definitely something that just caught me off guard. You still get the high performance rotors, um, maybe because this is a heavy car. I would probably assume that's the exact reason why you still get the high performance rotors for the Brembo brakes um, is because it's a heavy car. So it didn't always matter on the engine, but it matters probably on the car. That's different. I've never, I never even thought to notice that. Okay, well, we're learning things together here, guys. All right, so with that said, Pirelli P0s, uh, all season tires, and then you have the big GT badge on a Quattro Porte. Didn't see that coming. And you do have those more aggressive portholes as well. The Quattro Porte gets the 3D portholes. I mean, this was the flagship model for Maserati. Um, I think it's changed up a little bit. I'm not exactly sure if it's considered flagship because of the MC20, but this was it, all right? All right, so this got all the good stuff like the big chrome portholes on the side here. Now coming down the side of the QP is all the same stuff that you're used to from Maserati. You do get the blacked out window motors because this does have a Nerissimo pack on it. So it makes things a little bit darker. We'll talk more about that. We do have the sunroof up top as well. And we do have the color match door handles, which would normally be in chrome. Now also because we have that Nerissimo pack, we have the Trident here. This new for 2022 and this big flavor, but it is night shaded, all right? It does have that, you know, kind of dark shade to it because of the Nerissimo black pack. And while we're right here, let's talk about fuel economy. 19, 16, 25, premium fuel only, 19 combined city and highway, 16 city and 25 on the highway, all right? So you do have increased comfort and efficiency mode, which is ice mode, give you your best fuel economy. They will help get that miles per gallon up, but you also have sport mode that will take it straight down because you get your most throttle response, you get your best driving experience, you get your best exhaust note, and that's going to cause some spirited driving. So with that said, it just depends on what's the best for you. Now coming to the rear, we have that classic Quattro Porte look with the boomerang tails that are done shaded up as well because of the Nerissimo pack. Also with the new Maserati script for 2022 right up there. And you have the nightshade on the Nerissimo uh, chrome here as well as the Quattro Porte badge as well. So it all looks good, you know, with that night black kind of look. But you also have the rear 
tailpipes done in black as well, all right, with the rear diffuser done in black, and it has a nice aggressive look to it, and the honeycomb grill over the exhaust. All of it looks so fine and dandy. We're gonna hear that exhaust note in a minute, of course. Um, it's a Maserati video, gotta hear it. But with that said, everything looks good when it comes together, and I love the look of the Quattro Porte. Just this elongated look just looks amazing to me. But with that said, let's take out the trunk, all right? Let's get this going. 18.7 cubic feet you have the automated trunk so you see it went up nice and smooth you see the buttons here all right so you can open it and you can close it and close it and lock it same way there all right so you do see any in inside we have the 60 40 rear folding split we have our floor mats all right we have all of our goodies because this car has not yet been to the shop yet all right it has not been through pdi it has not been through um detailing so you know i get this stuff right out to you guys before anybody else gets to see it you do have your whole setup for your delivery all right where if you are a customer you will get your model car your model maserati in here you will also get a keychain and your spare key set up okay so that's all the good stuff you get when you do get into these cars they started that last year and carried it over to this year you also have your extra stowage over here with some documents 12 volt there as well and then underneath let's see what we got all right spare tire tire inflate kit jack tools all right as you guys can all see there and then battery if i can grab it hold on hold on <laughs> battery tucked away underneath there all right so we got all the stuff we need oh wow i'm failing today all right there we go what do you guys think If you guys have watched my 2022 vids for the Maserati lineup, you know that not all cars are created equal. In 2021, you did have soft closed doors as standard. In 2022, you do not. But, but this has the comfort and convenience package, which means it has soft closed doors. So it is optioned with them, but it does not come standard. We'll see that in the options. Now, opening this big heavy door, you will have the hinge free uh hinge free i'll say hinge free design for the preset there so no presets all right no hose barred you can open this thing whatever width you want oh now that that way it fell over but <laughs> i think that was because it was a max width then with this you do also have the dual pane windows as you guys can see we do have the ventilated shades there which we'll get to in just a moment inside the quattro porte stands out all right it's a little bit more high class than the ghibli no shade on the Ghibli, but this is the model that you get if you want a little bit more luxury, a little bit more class. So first thing you see is Rosso all throughout, blood red in here, all right? It's crazy. And you have Nero as well. If you look at the door paneling, you can get a kind of gist of everything, but we'll kind of skip to the inside. We'll get to the door paneling later. Before, before you even get in, you also have the Maserati side still there, done in aluminum. You also have the aluminum pedals there as well. And then you have the aluminum on the uh, seating controls there as well with the gloss black inserts. Now the rest of the interior, take a look at the seats. Sport seats, naturally drilled leather that is heated and cooled because it has ventilated seats here. All right, you have the big trident right up there embossed in the headrest, should be stitched, but embossed. <laughs> and then you step inside and you get greeted with chrome, black aluminum, uh, no, sorry, black piano, would trim all right and your nero and leather stitching so this is all fine and dandy when it comes to the interior of this specific car again where you would see chrome in this car you see aluminum on the ghibli so you just think about you know things like the door handles here the door handle trim is normally aluminum on the Ghibli, but it is chrome on the Quattro Porte. Things like the handle here for this extra stowage. This is normally aluminum on the Ghibli. It is chrome on the Quattro Porte. So that's something to think about. I mean, even the HVAC vents are normally aluminum. This is chrome. And just even look at this, all right? The chrome around the glove compartment handle is done up, all right? That's normally aluminum in the Ghibli. So again, this is where things change up a little bit. Now let's start this bad boy up. All right, you see Quattro Porte right up front. You see the sweeping dials. All right, it looks good, right? So really, those who are used to Maseratis for at least the past year in 2021, you'll recognize a lot of this stuff, okay? Things like the new MIA system for 2021 that carried over here to 2022. All right, so as you can see there, you have the different driver profiles. All right, you can have a whole mix of setups 
for your home screen where you can do the GPS, you can do the radio, you can do your phone, all kinds of stuff, even up top, all your information up top. You have the Hey Maserati feature where you can program that in to have it, you know, turn up the AC, turn it down the AC, um, you know, it can change the radio station for you, it can, you know, navigate your GPS. All the voice commands are phenomenal in this system. I mean, you have your media there, you have your comfort. Your comfort is definitely going to put you to where you can do your seats. All right, so you can do your seating and your steering wheel for heated and cooled uh, for the seats and heated for the steering wheel. Um, you have your navigation in a big screen here. 10.1 inch screen is gonna give you so much. Your phone, which we don't have a phone paired, but you do have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for this year. First year, or not first year, second year you have that. You also have your rear sunshade to where you guys can see that it's up. But if I press it on this button here, it'll let it down. That will also come down even if it's up when you put the car in reverse, so it will give you a better viewable. And then you also have your surround view camera that will come up when you put the car in reverse. We have your 360 real-time views, all right? This is what's actually around me, all right? So your parking sensor is there, and your full view for the back, your full view for the front, and your front with your 360. Again, we've gone over this for 2021. Still the same greatness in 2022. Great job with this system. Dual zone HVAC vents here, all right? And then underneath, you do have wireless charging right here, which is newer, all right? And USB-C and USB 2.0 right there for your plugins as well. Okay, so new stuff that you guys are used to in 2021, but carried over to 2022 in, in the Quattro Porte as well as the Ghibli. Now, with that said, your center stack here, you can see it done all up in black piano wood. You see your keys here, the key fobs. Again, this car has not been PDI'd yet, so I have both keys here, all right? So the key fobs you're used to um, since 2014 for these cars. Again, solid key fob, no need to change those. Now, up front, you do have your hazard buttons, your traction off, your start-stop button, your increased efficiency mode or increased comfort and efficiency, your sport mode, and your dampers where you can soften your dampers. You also have your parking brake there, electric parking brake, and you have your toggles for your MIA system in case you don't want to touch the screen. Wide open cup holders there, and your 8-speed ZF transmission, two-track system by two-track, I mean, bam. Now you're in manual mode where you can either use this gear select here or these big column mounted paddle shifters from Maserati, all right? Then you have your neutral, all right? You have your reverse, and then you have park, all right? So all the stuff that you guys are used to for this system. And again, this beautiful steering wheel wrapped in leather, all right, perforated on the sides. All your driver assistance here, like highway assist, your lane keep assist, all the good stuff is there. You also have your hands-free controls um, for here for your voice, and you also have your menu controls for your TFT screen. It looks beautiful with those sweeping dials as well. Um, sorry the sun is kind of messing everything up, but yeah, look at how beautiful those dials look with the TFT screen. They upgraded this in 2021. Looks just as good in 2022. I love the look at this. So um, yeah, they did a great job on all of this. Now, again, great quality materials, neo stitching up top, black piano wood, chrome, chrome around the seat memory. Then if we go around here, you have your lighting controls, all right, all that here. And you also have your start stop button right there, tucked away behind. And everything else that you guys are used to, I mean, the styling of the Quattro Porte is different. You have a big slab right here of the black piano wood. So the styling is definitely a lot different from the Ghibli. You have the seamless HVAC vents, which look really good because these HVAC vents are actually here, but it carries out through here. It makes it even look like, you know, there's just no stoppage of the design and it carries over even to the other side. It's so symmetric, it looks really cool. Um, and then you have your flat dash up top with the Neo stitching to go with it all in leather. All right, so this just looks so smooth. It really reminds you of an S-Class when it comes to just the kind of seamlessness of the design. So again, the S-Class is the competitor, so it makes sense. But other than that, you guys do have the sports seats. You have the Alcantara pillars and the headliner all done in Alcantara with the sunroof there as well, all right? So it all looks fine and dandy when it's put together. If there's anything specific that you guys want me to talk about with this car, um, like the telescopic steering wheel, you know, small stuff like that, you can go back, you can go forward, you can go up and down with this. I mean, just let me know. Um, I don't think you have, oh, you do. You have the pedal controls or pedal controls. All right, so there's a button right here, if I can squeeze under here. See it? Now that's gonna let me move my pedals closer to me and you guys probably can't even see that, but you see there, let's see, they're moving away now. Do you see them moving? So this gives you small details and stuff like that. 
if you guys want to see specific stuff in this car, um, let me know. But kind of briefly go over it because even though it's a Quattro Porte with different design elements um, and finishes, it still does have the classic Maserati functionality and technology. All right, guys, so check out the backseat space on this. And this is why you get the Quattro Porte with the long wheelbase because it's really going to cater to your backseat passengers. Now, same love on the back door paneling. You got the vent shade here as well on both sides, dual pane glass windows and soft closed doors as well. So same loving and affection. Now inside, as you can see, is not a bad place to be. Look at all this room I have. And I was sitting comfortably up front and I'm 5'11", 6 foot if you ask me. But with that said, you can see that I have tons of space between my knees here. This is a five seater, so you're gonna sit five comfortably. You also have a couple of things in the center here, like your heated seats, all right? So you do have the heated seat module, all right, with the comfort and convenience, and you have the vent shade controls here as well to where you can lift and lower the vent shade. If I press that there, it just let the vent shade down. If I press it again, it will let the vent shade up. There you go. Now, to let the vent shade down on the rear passenger glass, you're gonna to need to use your window control here. So when I press that, that's gonna go down first. All right, and then I gotta press it again to let the window down, all right? So that's how you let the vent shade down for the rear seats, all right, on both sides. All right, so there we go. Keep that sun out. Now with that said, you get the same luxury and convenience in the rear, all right? So you still get the same sport bucket seats, all right? You still get the Nero stitching, Rosso leather in the interior here for the armrest. You do have some fancy cup holders because Quattro Porte. All right, they gotta fancy it up. And you do have stowage in here with charging, so that's always good to know because this is an extra $140 in the Ghibli to have that charging. Now, whether it comes standard or not in the Quattro Porte, I don't know. We will see that in the sticker. But other than that, the only gripe I have about back here, what do you guys think it is? It isn't something I've mentioned yet. No panoramic roof. I know it's been like this for Maseratis. They don't do panoramic roofs for the sedans. Your sunroof is so far up there because of the Quattro Porte, there's a lot more real estate in the back, a lot more room than where, just extend it a little bit or something because it's just so dark back here um, and closed off compared to that space up front. So I would have loved to see you know, that, that roof come back even a, a little bit further, um, just, you know, to give it a little bit more of a luxurious feel and, you know, a, a airier feel, you know, feel one with the road and the atmosphere that you're a part of. But other than that, Quattro Porte does a good job in the rear. Now to address the elephant in the room, why is this such a big deal? Well, this is the first time ever you've been able to get a Quattro Porte at such a low price of $96,000 to start without any options. That's insane, all right? So again, we've used to the Quattro Porte being around 104, 110, 115, all the way up to 145,000 standard with no options. You can get one now at $96,000. That's incredible, and that's because it's a Quattro Porte GT for 2022, first time ever. So after the $13,000 plus of options, your $1,695 destination, and your 300 preparation and delivery, you're looking at a total price of $111,845. So it gets up there, it gets back up there to where it's supposed to be. <laughs> I'll say it that way. But with that said, you get all these options, all right, and you top out at that. I mean, that's not too bad. So let's talk about these options you get because there's a couple of them we haven't seen, like the GT Sport interior package for this Quattro Porte, which gives you the sport front seats, the Alcantara headliner, the aluminum pedal shifters, and the sport pedals. So that's $2,000, all right? Then you get your all season 20 inch tires, $60, your Sport Nerissimo pack, $4,090, your Comfort and Convenience pack, $1,500, your Gloss Red Calipers, $500, Ventilated Front Seats, $500, Mika Paint, $1,200, Heated Sport Steering Wheel, $500, and the Full Natural Drilled Leather, $3,500. So, it's a lot of good stuff. It's a lot of big price. So, standard on your 2022 Quattro Porte GT. I want you guys to pay attention to this closely because... This is the first time we get this model, so you gotta know what comes with it if you are looking to get into a Quattro Porte for the first time, now because it starts at $96,000. So again, I'm gonna go over this as slowly as possible. I'm gonna go over it again so you guys can pause. You can look over it. 
You can zoom in and see everything you need to know about a standard no option quattro porte before you start adding options and ticking boxes. Can you do with just this? If you can, it's yours for $96,000. That's insane. Pushing boundaries in 2022. What are you guys thinking about this? Now, per usual, we have to check out the full matrix LEDs illuminated on this Quattro Porte GT. As you can see, the switchback LED is there as well. All right, going from bright white to amber, and then you have that full matrix LED bulb. Looks great. You also have your turn signal done in the side mirror here in amber. All right, and then the tail lights. Now, I do have the fog lamps illuminated as well, so you can see the fog lamp right there. All right, so you press the individual button for that turn signal there and that boomerang tail illuminated then you can see it all together again looking gorgeous on the quattro porte it's a whole different style whole different flavor so with that said what did you guys think about the quattro porte gt this new trim level for the 2022 quattro porte never have we seen a 345 horsepower entry level variant of the quattro porte never have we seen a cheap or affordable Quattro Porte in the range until today. So let me know down in the comments below, what are you guys thinking about this model? Do you like the extra options on it? And does it make it you know, a little bit more appealing for you guys to get one of these? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it, and we'll have a bigger discussion on this 2022 Maserati Quattro Porte GT. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo, just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much. Now, you guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch. You want tank tops, you want hoodies, you want t-shirts, you want coffee mugs, fanny packs, tote bags, everything Ron's Rise is there. I'm also on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, so everything I'm posting, Maserati, Ferrari, and Alfa Romeo that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. With that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Ride video. Peace.